Thank you for registering for your free evaluation. In order for you to get the most out of this trial, we'd like to take a few moments to help you get started. First, you'll need to go to the teacher homepage. Simply click the home page button in the site navigation. This page will always be the default page when you log in. In addition to the home page, you'll also find pages for reports, calendar, and purchasing. Under reports, you'll be able to track student progress, view practice logs, and even export student progress to your student information system. Under calendar, you can schedule events for your students. Simply click on the day of the event and enter all of the information. Click add event and the event will be added to your calendar and automatically displayed on your students calendars. The purchase courseware page will allow you to purchase full curriculum bundles, online licenses, and course workbooks for you and your students. Below the main navigation menu, you'll find a section containing instructional videos specifically developed for teachers using the CMI online courseware. This section includes a link to the quick start video that you're watching now, a video on how to register students, a complete video guide to using the online learning system, and a section containing useful pedagogy tips. Over here, we have the Courses I Teach section. For each course you teach, you'll find a link to the course page, which we'll discuss in just a moment, a PDF lesson plan outlining the objective and topic of each lesson, and the complete course workbook. Okay, let's have a look at a course page. We'll click on Beginning Guitar Complete. At the top of each course page are supplemental videos on a range of topics from styles of guitars to maintenance and how to practice. These videos aren't in the course lesson plans, but contain essential information for students new to the guitar. Below that is the actual course content. Here, you'll find an expandable list of every lesson in the course. Clicking on a lesson will reveal lesson topics that include skills videos, performance pieces, ensemble parts for those containing ensembles, and layered learning material. The skills section contains videos that describe and demonstrate each skill contained in that lesson. The performance section contains songs and exercises to apply the learned skills. Each performance piece includes a recording for students to reference and play along with if they wish. The ensemble section contains the score and play along tracks for the entire ensemble or for each part separately. For the individual parts, the play along track eliminates that part so that the student can practice along at home or in the classroom. The rhythm section accompaniment tracks are ideal for use in guitar ensemble performances. The layered learning section contains alternate lesson material that integrates with the existing basic lesson, but is intended for more advanced students. This is great for quick learners or for those who may already know the material being presented. It will keep the students engaged and challenged while progressing at the pace of the class. To the right of the course material, you'll find a playlist editor. We've added a great example of guitar videos here. Some demonstrate concepts from the courseware and others simply inspire. These videos show up on the student section of the site as well. You can choose the default playlist, or you can edit the playlist and display your own favorite guitar videos. Simply add the YouTube URL and a title for the video and hit submit. Okay, back to the home page. There's just a few more things to go over here. First, under Teacher Development, you'll find a link that will point you to some valuable resources for professional development. Keep your eye on this section as we constantly update it. This area will show you which courses you have purchased, the number of licenses purchased, the number of licenses remaining, the course expiration date, and the access code used for registering students. Here you'll find a list of students, the class period, the student's username, the course, the percentage of the course that has been completed by each student, and the student's last login date. This gives you a quick dashboard view of how your students are progressing. Here you can register new students, edit existing students, or remove students from your class. You can also reset a student's password if they've forgotten it. Finally, we have an announcements section. Here you can enter messages and announcements for all students, students from a specific course, or individual students. These messages will show up on the student's homepage and here at the bottom of your homepage. To delete an announcement, simply click Delete Message. Okay, that should give you enough information to get started. Now go and explore. Experiment with the site. Have fun. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to contact us.